Hello and welcome to the 2009 chase for the Scrub Cup Finale here in Homestead, Miami. It has been a long, long journey for all of us involved, but we're here to finally crown a champion for the 2009 chase for the Scrub Cup. It's down to two guys, us and Patrick Carpentier's car and Regan Smith. So we'll give you a rundown here after Phoenix. So a huge fourth place in Phoenix propelled us to a 114 point lead over Regan Smith. Now, it's not totally clinched up yet. There's a great chance we can always blow it, but I don't think we will. I certainly hope not, at least. With that, he is pretty much our only competitor here in Homestead. AJ Elmendinger has made it up into third. That was after Texas. Uh, and the rest of it's pretty much stayed the same between the top five. Clint Boyer's still fourth. David Reagan, fifth. Marcus Ambrose is back up a spot in sixth. Kyle Petty has fallen back to seventh. And of course, the last four has changed. Hornish up one, Sorensen down one. Dario up one, and JJ Ailey back to the 12th spot. So not only are we crowning our champion tonight, but we're also crowning the king of the scrubs. And it looks like it's probably gonna be between two guys. Will it be Dario Franchitti or JJ Ailey? Let's find out. Well, here we go, one more round of qualifying. Oh man, it's crazy to think it's already, it's already over, man. But it's, uh, it's been a fun little series. I might have to, um, I either gotta find my PS3 or get a copy of it on Xbox 360, and maybe I'll maybe I'll do it again. Cause I would like to try it. From what you guys told me, it, it, oh man, we just drift on the fucking warm-up lane. Yeah, that's great. Uh, but yeah, uh, apparently it's a lot different. Uh, again, I don't even really remember much of the. I know I played it a lot on PS3. I don't know where the hell my PS3 is. I'll be 100% honest. I don't know where it is. I found the box to it the other day. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> so, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, we'll qualify last again. But uh, it's got to be pretty fun, man. Not a whole lot of pressure again. The biggest thing is that Regan Smith is going to have to go out there, pretty much win, lead the most laps. Um, so I think there's definitely a lot more pressure on him, obviously. I think as long as we just don't DNF, we'll be okay. We could probably still DNF and be all right. But Regan Smith has shown speed just about everywhere we've been. Um, some faster than others, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, most importantly, I don't think you'll go out here and just win the damn race. You never know. He definitely probably, if he could, that seemed crazier. But um, as long as that doesn't happen, I'm not too worried about it. We'll just, uh, we'll cruise. The first lap. Fuck <sighs> it, I don't feel like doing another lap. All right, here we go. The final race in the chase for the Scrub Cup is green. All right, 66 laps around Homestead, Miami. Here we go. The pressure's on Regan Smith to get her done today. He's going to have to get up on it. And Jimmy Johnson leads the way. Looks like he started on pole. Typical. And look, Carl Edwards up there in the top five. Good for him. He's been horrible this entire series. We've been talking about that a lot. Holy. Oh, man. Oh, oh, Larson line. Hell, yeah. I think he just didn't turn right there. All right, so Regan Smith's showing P15, make a P14, so. He's doing a little bit better than we are right now. Look at this, man, three by three by three, hell yeah. Good old Homestead, man. Holy shit, this thing is really tight, and I don't know why. I took a took a round out of the wedge, man, before qualifying, and I thought it turned good in qualifying. They don't turn good now, what the hell? Here we go, come on. Like, this thing is so tight, I can't really get it to turn down anywhere. I don't even know who this guy is. Cool paint scheme though. Is that, did I, do I spot a Windcraft logo on there somewhere? Ah, oh, the graphics are so horrible. It looks like a Windcraft Sports um, logo. I think that's what that is. Wow, what's up, dude? Carrying on the legendary name of Windcraft. Yeah, it definitely says Windcraft on there. Whoops. I just hooked his ass. I didn't even mean it. I swear that wasn't intentional. Fucking 175 car, man. Somewhere in an alternate universe, I'm still chugging along in the 175 Windcraft car at Homestead, Miami. <laughs> Sucking. Okay, well, my apologies up to the Windcraft crew. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Fuck it, whatever. We'll probably get a flappy part problem caution anyways before something flies off my car. That's okay. All right, well, it's seven coming to lap eight. Yeah, sorry about that. I was running last anyways. It's probably netcode anyways. This is the only offline game you can netcode in. 
I sure hope I didn't knock the speed out of it. To be fair, I don't think this thing had a lot of speed in it anyways. I don't know why, it's just like so bad in the corner. Like it just doesn't turn. I don't know. It, it did that before I wrecked. Glad I run, I'm glad I ran well at Phoenix. Because, uh, yeah, if I didn't, we'd be kind of <laughs> kind of screwed right now. All right, Windcraft Sports. I'd like to apologize. And I'll help you by pushing you around this sucker. Yeah, all right, cool. Free spot for both of us. Oh, there you go. Now it wants to turn. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now it wants to turn. What was that 10 laps ago? Oh, God. Oh, I'm about to kill that dude. All right, car, if we can make up our mind, what the hell we're going to do? Are we going to turn or are we not going to turn? Because I'm, I'm thoroughly confused here. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, it seems like it wants to turn now. It hooked the bottom pretty well right there. That's, that's cool. Man, as much as fun as I'm having racing for last, if we could stick in line and work together, that'd be, that'd probably, maybe, maybe that'd help us catch uh, the, the rest of these scrubs. Not too far in front of us, right? Okay, I, okay. Okay, I realized what I just said. But, but the problem here is, is I think I'm the fastest car here. I don't think any of you guys are leading the scrub, chase for the scrub cup points lead. So if I could just go ahead, thank you. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what's, I don't know what's going wrong right now. Oh boy. Three wide for last. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, okay. The fans are on this feet for this incredible battle right here, man. Oh boy, that's great. All right, what is that? The 194? Stupid looking number. I guess I'll follow you now. Holy shit, you're slow, dude. Can I just can I just go ahead? Can we can we do that? So so I can just go on with my life here and then you guys can can do that? Please. Please, please, please. Oh, man, this motherfucker's gonna slide in underneath me. No, he won't. There we go. Windcraft learned his lesson. Good job. There we go. Now I can run my own damn groove. I can worry about these knuckleheads up here. Yeah, I think I think it's starting to want to turn. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I think he's mid moved his way up into 13th. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared as of right now. My, my scared meter is definitely going up a little bit. Like, the pressure's still on Regan Smith to go out there and pretty much win the race. Damn it! Okay! Okay, listen! If you're gonna pass me, you better be fucking quicker than me! Which I know you aren't, so why are you passing me? Alright, let's see it! Let's see it! Let's fucking see it! He's not phased. Impressive. I'll give him that. Yeah, intimidated your ass. Crossed you back over. Like as much as I, I, I just, just fuck off, man. We're running for running for 40 seconds. How hard is it just to sit behind me and let me try to catch these dudes? Go by. You, 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 you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. Just go somewhere, anywhere other than, than next to me. Can we get a caution. Can we get like a flappy fire problem caution or something? This is pissing me off. I don't know why I think it's so damn bad. Probably because I'm driving a one-star car, but we've had a good amount of half speed. Better than I thought we'd have. I don't know. I, I think I just got to make some adjustments, and I think I got to fix the car a little bit because it is a little broken. Probably missing half our damn splitter. Oh, man. I got that quarter panel. As soon as I go to intimidate, man, it's like I'm intimidating myself. I get more out of control than this dude gets. Is that who I think it is? How the fuck? I was bragging on Carl Edwards like 10 minutes ago on how he had such a terrible uh, scrub cup chase. But he was running like fourth. He qualified up there. My man is 40th now. He started the race like fourth. How? How is that possible? I mean, I thought I was bad at NASCAR Thunder 2004. Starting on pole and then like drop it back to 40th in like a, a few run but this motherfucker went from like fourth to 40th in 20 20 20 some laps 
Maybe less than that. I don't know how long he's been back here. How? Somebody explain to me. Holy man, some Larson line shit right there. It looks cool, but I'm only going 130 mile an hour. So it's pretty manageable. But at least we're we're getting there. We caught these knuckleheads. Somehow. And I wish all the grooves worked. They really don't. I can't really run the high side. Honestly, if the high side worked properly, uh, that would be that would be perfect. But like, I just can't get any bite up there. Exhibit A. Holy, come on, just turn, man. What I need to do is just go up there, ride the wall, park the right rear against the wall, and just full throttle it. That thing wants to hang out. Let's hang out. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my guys, uh, Tokyo, it's uh, yeah, Fast and Furious, Miami Drift. Coming to theaters soon. I'm sure glad Homestead's wide. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Like, it's just, it's just, like, as soon as I get back in the gas, it just slides up the damn banking. Uh, one of these times, I'm just gonna try hanging it off the wall, like I was talking about. It seems to set itself pretty good once it like it's the right or once. I'm a, next time through three and four, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send it like Kyle Larson against the wall. We'll see what it does. All right, here we go. Kyle Larson test part one. There you go. Just 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 lean the right rear again. Okay, that didn't work. It felt faster, but somehow it wasn't. So, uh, uh, well, I'm. I am definitely ready for some tires. Hey, AJ Elman thinking to lead up there? Good for him. I'm nine seconds behind running second to last. Yeah, I am I am really happy we built that big championship lead, because if it was any closer, we'd be screwed right now. I'm starting to figure out how to drive it sideways. <laughs> I'm starting to figure it out, slowly but surely. It's not very fast, but um, oh yeah, Clint Boyer's having a nice little run in P8. We'll see if Regan Smith's still hanging around, kind of close to the top 10. Uh, ooh, looks like he's falling back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good for us. P17. Here we go. Got to run on the dickhead. Easy. I got to slow up so much just to, like, it's so tight. And then it's just, like, balls loose the whole rest of the corner. That's my favorite. There's nothing more fun than when you're driving a virtual race car and it's loose and tight. Uh, <laughs> well, I still passed your dumbass. Not much gas left. Okay, now, now I'm concerned because... Oh, boy. Oh, uh -oh. Okay, so the problem here is... Now, we didn't have a problem with this in NASCAR Thunder 2004. I thought we would in the fi finale race. I thought we'd have an issue with this, but we might have an issue with it here. We're flirting with halfway. Now we did have that caution that saved, you know, obviously saved us a couple laps under caution and fuel, so. <sighs> hmm. There's a chance that everybody could make it on one stop, and maybe I might not. The thing with that, though, is, is that, like, it's not like I can finish much worse. I mean, I could definitely finish worse, but not much worse. So, the only problem with that, though, is, is that, you know, I mean, if Regan Smith figures out how to you know, stretch it or something. If he somehow miraculously wins the race, and we finish like 42nd, that ain't good. Yeah, I really love his short short pit too, but like it, it's not in the options. Cause I gotta I gotta stretch it to probably make it the fuel window to make this in one lap or uh, one stop. Sorry, one lap. Oh man. Oh fuck. I just nearly wrecked it on the straightaway on that loose. How we doing? Oh, never mind. I was figuring out how to drive it sideways. The problem with it is, though, is it's it's looser now. Like to the point where, yeah, I've nearly wrecked on the straightaway like twice now. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, my fuel's blinking red, so uh, I think that means we're supposed to pit now. And that is totally fine by me. Oh, coming your way, pit crew. Uh, one drift at a time. Good holy lord. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to fix the damage. Oh, yeah, there's cars hitting pit road. Okay, here we come. Just going to drift our way in here. <laughs> Fuck! That's embarrassing. <laughs> I 
was looking down at my speed uh, to make sure I was down below 70. I looked up and I was in the fucking wall. <sighs> oh, yeah, let's go with the nose cam. Great idea. Ooh, crunch. I was close. I just... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we really needed a caution for that, but, you know, it's whatever. Crew chief recommends that you pit. I think that's a good idea. Man, we almost got away with green flag pit stops. That does not happen very often. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, how hard is it, man? Oh, eat shit, dude. Yeah. By the time I get to my pit stall, I think they're going to have the race restarted already. It's going to be close. They're definitely going to have the race restarted by the time my pit crew is done. This is going to take probably, I'm going to guesstimate, uh, 25 seconds. That's my official guess. 25 seconds. 25 or over. Okay, well, we're almost at 20 for the four tires, and we gotta fix the damage. Uh, oh, wow, he surprised me. That was about 23 seconds, so. Not bad. Oh, yeah, eat shit, Ryan Newman. Didn't Who didn't pit? I think you're lying to me. I can't imagine. Wow, now there was actually cars that hit pit road, so. Good for them, I guess. Oh, my God, and I did wheel spin, because it started me in third. I actually gained time in the whole matter, because. All right, 33rd. Man, I hope I hope we've got speed now because we fixed the car. It looks better. Um, yeah, I tightened it up a little bit. You know, freshies, fuel. Hopefully, we're good to go now. Whoa, 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 whoa. sorry. Minecraft doesn't give me a lot of room, man. I don't, know. I don't know if I like you. It is weird to have grip though, and not be drifting down a straightaway and through the corners and. All that mess. There we go. If I could just distance myself from these knuckleheads, I had about enough of these guys. That went crazy racing with these motherfuckers for the first half of the race. Now it's time to turn it up. Because uh, I really don't want to blow this championship. Like, I, I would probably want to be one of the biggest chokes probably ever. Look, dude. Not a lot of room. Damn it! One of these, uh, I'm gonna pick a more intimidating scrub next time. It's Patrick Carpunte ain't, ain't cutting it. I, I, I see you. There we go, finally got it to turn, hell yeah! Sweet, all right, Carl, oh no, we're friends, almost friends, let's work on that. Poor Carl, he's just had a rough go at it, he's just trying to hold on. There we go, oh man. It's still really tight at the center of the corner, but um, I think overall we got a little bit more speed, so that that's nice. Once again, all we got to do is finish like top 25. We could probably finish worse than that. I'm not 100% sure on the math, but um, we don't have to finish all too great to still clinch this thing. So, man, you know it's crazy. I, I guess none of these games really had it, but when you're like, no matter what game mode you're in, if you're in like in a championship situation, before you go off in the race, it should definitely have championship uh, scenarios for you. That makes it a lot easier. So that you, oopsies, so the, so the user doesn't have to do a whole lot of math, because nobody likes math, am I right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, I'd like to apologize to Ryan Newman. I'm surprised that was a caution. Just didn't give me a whole lot of room, so I nearly dumped this shit. That's what you get, dude. And uh, I'm gonna stay out. Let's do this again. All right, so, but yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like that's something they could probably do in the, um, in the newer games, I just, I, I would be such a quality of life enhancement. Because, like, you can do the, the, the chase mode. Uh, I mean, that's been around forever. You can just do the, the 10 race playoff or whatever you want to do, or career mode or anything. Like, if there's a championship out there, I should definitely tell you, you know, where you need to finish the clinch and how many points and this and that. So, I'm surprised that was never really ever a thing. It's a shame that it wasn't. Well, we cracked the top 30, so <laughs> that's really great. Oh, here we go. Newman checking up for him, and oh man, I don't have a lot of straightaway speed. Not at all. Good lord. Blocking. I see it. You want to get dumped again? You want to get? You better we wobble your ass up, there, Ryan. There, block that. 
Oh man, I'm gonna slap it. Hit the wall. You watch. Come on, turn! Oh, God bless Homestead Miami and its wideness. I appreciate it. Hey, Ryan Newman, man. Yeah, sit yourself down on an ape. Fine. I guess you're quicker than me. I guess it's about where I'm gonna stall out. This thing just sucks. It doesn't get through the corners, and it's slow in the straightaways. So, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot I can do there. I definitely, I mean, I got to handle it a little better, and I think I found more speed. But, like, there's just not a whole lot I can do. I really appreciate it if Ryan Newman would step on it every time, like, every time I pass in. There we go. Jeff, thank you. I hope I'm clear. Okay, thank you. That's why you get a spotter, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Jeff. All right, all right, all right Jeff. Yeah, calm down, dude. There we go. I might be finally figuring it out. Once again, hey. We can finish here, we're all right. Rankin Smith ain't winning. At least not yet. Speaking of winning, Juan Pablo Montoya to the lead. Yeah. Don't worry about a block from him. Blocks down the back. He wants to try to pinch me off. I see you, JJ. Mm, yeah, you better slide up that damn hill. We're using all the track around here. Yeah, we got a lot of friends up in here, man. We about made it. Just about everybody in the fields are uh, we're we're friends with that ain't. Look at that man, that's that's a huge trick of him for quite a while. That's great. There's a couple of guys, like a couple yeah, a couple of those knuckleheads back there. Yeah, I even made friends with the one dude uh, that don't that's not here every race, so Yeah, we're starting to figure it out now. I guess I I guess that caution benefited us a little bit. Again, I mean, yeah, that grief uh, that was probably that was probably the the best thing for us that uh, caution came out. Because that would have been like a 25 second pit stop under green, and then I would have been even further behind. Honestly, I probably would have finished this race in 40th, so. And then it really would have been up to Regan Smith and see what he did, but. There we go. Yeah, top half of the field. Something, things I didn't think I'd, I'd hear in this race. Ryan Vickers has made it to the lead. Clint Boyer's gone backwards. I don't know where Regan Smith is. There we go. Man, they're stacking up. Oh, man, a little slippery. Sorry, boys. Oh, yeah, look at this foster cluck, man. Here we come. Somebody's dicking up the line. I don't know who it is yet. It's somebody up there. Oh, there it is. I see Regan Smith. I think I know who it is. I think it might be Kyle Petty. I'm uh, engaging by the colors. I think it is Kyle Petty up there. Whoa, he about done did it right there. Sam Hornish to the lead. What a race, man. Bunch of different leaders. They just keep on coming and going. Oh, God, I'm definitely sliding up in it. Sorry, Paul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been using the tires this run. That's for damn sure. Look at this. Yeah, what a real friend you are, Casey Mears. Suck my ass. Oh, God. All right, Paul. You want it? Take it. Go ahead, champ. Tire's starting to fall off now, but we're sitting P16. We got a man, big old shit gaggle behind us. It's, this this race has just spawned into two different shit gaggles. We are running out of time to dick this one up, so I think I'm just content to ride. I ain't getting to the lead. I ain't winning this race. I sure shit don't want to finish last, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play it safe here to the end. As long as I can see Regan Smith, man, we good. I was really concerned there for the first little bit. Because Regan Smith, he was flirting with that top 10. All he needed was a little bit of luck and a little bit of speed. And, oh, yeah, man. I'd never hear the end of that. Two laps to go. And it is just about over. Regan Smith is backing that ass up. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we are good to go as long as we don't. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't catch anybody. I've been trying. I honestly been trying. But, like, it's just, I just don't have the speed. But 16, there's nothing to complain about. Oh, what's up? Reed just backs his ass up. Now he's about to take my ass out. That's what he's going to do. Everything else failed. It's coming to that point. <laughs> he started dropping back. He's going to turn my ass. And here we go. White flag. Looks like Kevin Harvick is uh, out of the lead at the moment. I mean, it's a hell of a race for the lead up there. A couple yet. Yeah, looks like Juan. Yeah, Montoya just took over the lead. I mean, it's like a seven-car battle, more than that, for the lead. So, um, yeah, it looks really fun. I wish I could be a part of that, but um, 
Here we are. Looks like we're going to come out here with the top 15. So, uh, through three and four, that hammering ring you here. It's a nail in the... Oh, shit. <laughs> in the final coffin of Reed Smith and the Chase Contender's hopes of upsetting Patrick Carpentier. Hell yeah! There it is. Inaugural Scrub Cup. Um, Chase for the Scrub Cup champion. We've done it. So the standings are official. We've done it. And the lowest rated car, the one star Patrick Carpentier machine. Regan Smith put up a hell of a battle, man. But coming up short in P2, Almondinger third. And I mean, yeah, that was pretty much it, man. Kyle Petty moved up one spot. And yeah, that's really that. JJ Yaley finishing 12th is your inaugural. What the hell did I call it earlier? The, the Scrub Cup King, uh, King King of the Scrubs. That's what it is. <laughs> Congratulations, JJ Haley. You are King of the, King of the Scrubs. It says nine. So, uh, well, there you have it. So after all that, a quick look at the finishing results. Juan Montoya, good for him, man. Got that oval win. Uh, Harvey coming home second. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty crazy finish there. Uh, Sam Hornish got up there and led some laps, and he got shuffled out. So, uh, yeah, Almadinger came home with a top ten. Kyle Petty, a nice little run to finish it out there, P11. Regan Smith ended up finishing 14th, started 15th. Again, Florida with the top 10 most of the day, and uh, was almost sitting pretty there the first half of the race as uh, we, we flirted with last pretty much the entire race. But, uh, yeah, man, it worked out really good. Got the car fixed up and kind of got it to 15th. So, uh, with the rest of it here, JJ Ailey finished 19th, but uh, was not good enough because Dario finished 20th. Good for those guys. Then Boyer 25th, David Reagan 26th, Sorensen 34th, Rudiman 35th, Carl Edwards with another horrible run. And finishing us off is Marcos Ambrose in last. So with that, I appreciate the hell out of you guys for watching this series. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. We'll have to do something like this again for sure. I'd definitely be down to run it back. So uh, you let me know if you guys would like to see this concept again and uh, hopefully we'll we'll bring it to uh, another game or another console or some sort of something so I, I guess I'll wrap it up here I don't know if I get any sort of finishing thing there it is okay I was really I was gonna be really upset if I didn't get a little championship thing here um, I don't know who the hell that is is that supposed to be Elliot Sadler that's a little chest bump where's my trophy at well fuck it no, whatever all right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been a hell of a season, and, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Jeremy, oh, man, he did a whoop-de-whoop. Oh, fumble.